Can I show it to the camera? Yellow ball, meteorite, Daytona. Jamie Foxx wore it on a red carpet and he was on the front page of GQ magazine wearing that watch. It's a double sealed. First double sealed Rolex you'll find. I can remember going into a shop, three hulks in the window, and they said, will you take all three? I bought all three watches and got 30% off. Just asking, Josh is asking 35 grand for it. Yeah. The main man's shoe. The main man's down here. Man. Jack. I know. And he's delegating from the director's chair, which just happens to be cross-legged on the floor. With no shoes on as well. No shoes. I've actually brought the film crew back with me this time. Harry's just said that I needed to come over here. You've got an FP shown. You're talking to years about it. Before you become a VIP star, me still the same. I had a day date 20 years ago with a Tiffany Blue Fish. Couldn't uh, sell it. Nobody, nobody wanted to buy it. Nobody, nobody wanted it. Nobody liked it. We've never had one, so I've never had one watch in my life. So you got to be with a dealer, haven't you? <laughs> oh. Go to Metro East, Sivian. It's going to be a good day, Dan. Sun's out. We're heading down to the London Watch Show. We've got the full team, the full watch trader team. Are there any changes you know of that Charlie's made for this show? It's we'll funny. see. I'm pretty sure that for the next one, he's got a different venue, which is going to include other things which people are interested in, luxury-wise, luxury. cars, charter and yachts, art, antiques. Will we see Tiffany Bazaar? I don't think we'll see a Tiffany Patek because if we do, I'll buy it. If anybody does have one, yeah, just let us know. Drop us a message because I'm looking for that one. Yo, yo. What's the story? On well, our way down now, what's the, what's the plan? Uh, we've got using that uh, YMCA hostel. So the ship's got an upgrade, the bunk beds, we just need to keep our Get it. So where are you now? Watford Village Hotel. Okay. We've got a swimming hard, a sauna. All right. A bit of breakfast. Maybe you can just forget Billy, leave him there. <laughs> I will try and leave Billy, yeah. And yeah. John, a little slump. I leave John. All right, just a little bit. The hotel's booked, so it's maybe like five hours earlier than what happened last year. So Jack likes leaving things to the last minute. He likes to keep it exciting. He likes to keep it exciting, yeah, definitely. Hotel booked, check. I got the bargain at the last minute, it was nearly half the price than when Stuart wanted to book it. So all I did was save the firm a few quid. People doing stands now. You should see what there's about 30 trucks outside, they've not got something in there, but they said we're getting it done, so. What time can you get in? Yours in there, Stuart. Where? There's nothing in the box trader in there. Not really. It's coming. It says Newcastle Games. There's about 10 trucks behind me. That's the entourage. It's all full of gear. I'll do, won't it? Yeah. All right, sweet. I'll see you too. Bye. Right. Uh, Tell <laughs> Just Josh is getting his heads in. He's got some serious deals lined up, so he's just making the most of his, his journey down. He's decided instead of replying to messages, he's just going to knock a couple of heads out. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it was left to me again to drive all the way down to London. Josh was tucked up in bed with his mum's pillow, fast asleep all the way down. So we've just arrived at the London Watch Show. We're excited. Today's the first day, so the Fridays. So we've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So let's go take a look at the booth and see how we're getting on. As you see, it's a bit hectic. Setting up. So we'll see who's here. There's the firm. So we've got Hendo. The man's Yo, here. Main man. We've got Vicky. The main man's shoe. I'm the main man. man. The main man's down here. The main man's Jack. I don't care. Billy, John, man, Cameron. He's just decided to have a little rest. The main man's had a long couple of days and he's delegating from the director's chair, which just happens to be cross-legged on the floor. With no shoes on as well, no shoes. <laughs> so as you see, it's pretty crazy here. So we're just gonna get the watches out into the displays and we're ready to go. So I think there's a lot more watch people here rather than actual other things. So here's Adam here. Get his ugly face on the camera. 
the number one in Manchester. Right, right. How you doing? Set up. Yeah. Set up, How many right. displays you got? All four. I'll just clean with this. What? We've just got our trays. I don't look at that. No, I, just, I bought these, but it's a bit whatever in it. Yeah, it fits perfect. Hey, well, that looks good. Looks smart. That looks really good, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah really good. good. Did you know the measurements beforehand? Yeah, just guess. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they look good. I think, good. I think mm. they made the same out the roughly. Yeah, really good. It'll be alright. Come round anyway in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot more watch spenders here rather than cars and other things and like I think that. That's what they said last time, that they were gonna make it all watches. Yeah, so it's all watches and I think at the back which we'll go to later is safes. So we'll check out some heavy duty safes. Oh, I'm not sure you get a safe on the tube if you find I don't think you will. If you do buy it, I think it'll need I think it'll need delivered, but I don't think you'll be walking out today. But you can be walking out with a new timepiece today. You can be walking out with one of those. What do you think of it? Josh, what do you think the art there? The what? The artwork, I don't think it's as good as last year, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't think. Don't know. What's it you? fired, like. What's it you? I can't fire show. making his debut on the Moss Show. What would you have out of them? These pieces here. These pieces, take your pick. I mean, I love the Rose Protect. Yeah. I like the Aquanaut and orange as well. Out of all these watches, I would have the orange Aquanaut. So you've got the overseas blue dial. This is the nicest dial on any rock there is. It's a watch that you really need to see in person. If you can see one in person or ever get one, just grab it straight away. This is, oh, this, this is, is what we want. Stack of McDonald's. This is my section. Nautilus Aquanaut, RM, Vacheron. For me, it's still the orange Aquanaut white gold. Travel time. Platinum Daytona. I mean, what's the value in this trade? Probably a million or so, probably over a million, eh? Over a million. To be fair, that was probably an underestimation. There was probably about two to three million pounds worth, which you'll see, and we had three of those, so do the math. Big, big pieces, big pieces. Precious metal Rolex, Oyster Flexes, Rose Gold, Yellow Gold, Daytona. This is one that's already sold, so my customer's gonna come collect this. So you've got Yellow Gold, Rose Gold, and all the Oyster Flexes. So take your pick, Yachtmaster 42. Rose gold 40 mil, white gold Daytona, rose gold, rose gold Skydweller, and yellow gold. What would you pick out of these, Harry? Love this. Yeah, white gold ice flex. That's what we said in the previous video and as well. You know what? This. The rose ruby, day day two. Discontinued, very rare ruby dial. The best dial you can get on the watch. Well, Josh, it looks like we're actually missing out on it. It does, yes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the camera and enjoy ourselves before a hectic day. Yes, that's all, of course. Before we do, what was the one that you saw before? You've already made a sale? Yes, so I've already made a sale five minutes in. It was a black ceramic Daytona. It was a previous customer of mine who bought through Chrono last time, a Tudor, and he's just picked up his new black ceramic Daytona. And this is what we're here for. This is, this is yeah, the, what you want, a cheeseburger, a This is the real deal. How much is that per egg dial? Is it the egg band I'll charge you? Uh, no. <laughs> it's advertised for 30. I think I give you ten and a half, but it's not ten and a half now. I've sold it three times. We've got a little bit of a, a goal this weekend, so I'll I'll bring you into the inner circle. Inner circle. De Beers, the only watch that De Beers have ever made with raw, uncut diamonds in the dial. That was sold in 2012 in Harrods for thirty thousand pounds on a leather strap. My punter had the bracelet made because he couldn't get the bracelet version. So he gave something like eight grand to get that bracelet made. I mean, somebody's had him over with a bracelet. Is he still in the institution now? Or? He's still in the institution. <laughs> no, 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 I've got a minute. There was somebody that I know daft enough to give 10 grand for that. Avian Co in yeah. New York does all the fantastic diamonds when Jacob were doing their Jacob watches. Avian and co decided, right, I'm gonna have a go at making watches. So you've got that. The only thing that they neglected to do was make it in a precious fucking metal. Can you believe that is rose gold plate? Andrew Hagar's brother, Lee, bought that in Vegas. Jamie Foxx wore it on a red carpet and he was on the front page of GQ magazine wearing that watch. He gave $27,000 in Vegas for that watch. He, he won in the casino, came out and spent the money on that. So if he bought 
any other watch, if he'd bought uh, anything for twenty-seven thousand dollars at the time, was twenty grand. So for twenty grand in early two thousands, a day stainless steel Daytona was only seven grand. A gold day date was only fourteen grand. So that was more. If the boys, if anybody can sell this, if anybody can sell this watch for twenty five hundred quid this weekend, we're all going on the piss, right? Twenty seven thousand dollars retail. I've actually got the magazine article, the front page of GQ, and that, the other one you've just looked at, and I can, can know the guy as a as a. As a Quilette played for Arsenal, Delacour. They were given to a load of French footballers um, when he played for Paris Saint Germain. The company was. Away, <laughs> the boys took it in part exchange and made me buy it in a deal. But it's all swings and roundabouts. Again, 3,500 quid. It was about 16,000 euros to buy. But this is. That is a good watch. Graham, rose gold, Graham. Mad. Oh, it's quite nice to see you. <laughs> There's the managing director sitting down. Jackie doing? boy. Very well, how are you? And behind the managing director is my other half. And one of the first things she said, am I going to end up on YouTube this weekend? <laughs> so Paul, this is time. Vicky. Hey, Vicky, hey, Vicky. So there we go. The driving force behind the company. Yep. We'll see you lots in the next couple of days. So you never know, we might even have a little beer at some point we over the weekend. Probably, maybe, maybe. It's always good to see uh, Paul Thorpe and Hendo having a good chat. Two experts in the field have gone back to go back a long way and they're always chatting backwards and forwards about different watches. And yeah, I'm not too sure, but they are very, very friendly with each other. <laughs> Josh, how much are you selling the bus down here pay for? Uh, 32. Then I sell them for like 40 odd. With papers or without? Oh, it's always without papers. Without papers. Passes it, let me go and see them. That's like a 2005, six. Jacob, what do you think that's worth? It's the old set. No papers, 2006. It's the really old set. I think it's worth that. Twenty-five grand. He's asking Josh is asking thirty-five grand for it. Yeah, that's that. This one, it's the same as that. Same as this, but it's just an old style set, isn't it? Mm. This one's got the metal on it. Line set, yeah, line set. See that, flower. See the metal there, yeah, and the metal on the shoulders. Ah. You know what I mean? It's all around there. Yeah, it's yeah. no metal. That's all the thirty-two grand. Okay, well. I think you'll get it. Remember you bought a load off me? Yeah. You set them. Remember, that was probably the ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that one, Going back to Sunday. Sunday. Going back to Sunday, yeah. Hey, Jack, Jack out, we'll walk tomorrow. Yeah, you on the waters probably. Yeah. On the waters. Uh, blue, um... So, so Rob Tan? Yeah. Rob Tan. Oh, Tan's gone big, Tan's gone big. Yes. Sick watch. Any price? No price for that one. Ten pieces. I mean, uh, we pay high for this piece. It's a million. A million US. A million pounds. Really? Yeah. That was one of the most expensive watches at the show, and um, asking I think a million pound for the watch. It was the new AP Royal Oak Blue Dial Tourbillon. Beautiful, beautiful watch. I think there's only ten pieces made. How much is yours? This. I'm asking two eighty retail. Seen the white ceramic? How much? Four hundred. Four hundred and eighty. Sandblast, RM11. And the ivory. How much are you asking for that? Retail. Orange? Yeah. Uh, 185. How old is yours? 219, new, everything's new on it. How much are you asking for that? Isaac, he's all. 110. You still got my watch from last fucking show? Right. I think you bought it back. So can I get it now? Because I have obviously like. Do you want to buy it? Last time and you said no. Do you want to buy you it? You said yes and then you cancelled on it. Do you want to buy it? Not really, but how much is it? She's asking 32 grand for it. Well, I agree with you. How much lower did I agree? I don't know. I was at like, I think we were at 25 grand or something. Like that. I just bought that this morning. It's a 2022 watch, brand new, fully sticked and everything. If you want it. How much are you asking here? I'm 
that's 115. 115. But it's cheap, so we've got a good margin if you want, if you need it. Just I've got three of them caught years. Yeah. I pay, pay each. Yeah, tell John that. Why would he pay? Like three, something. I can get you all of them at least if you want them anyway. I don't want any of them. I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell cheap. I don't know. Is it open now? Yeah. yeah. Are we in business? So that's another three watches that's gone to the John Museum that he's going to bury with him because they're most likely never going to go. But it'll be great to see them here for a long time. Right, guys, I've actually brought the film crew back with me this time. Are you all right with that? So, Harry, I think we've just obviously established there's a little bit of mutual appreciation going on here. Harry's just said that I needed to come over here. You've got an FP, Joan. Yes, I have. Sorry. So, you know I'm a little bit passionate about my wrist watches. Are you gonna love this one, so here you go. Oh Chronometre Souverain or Souverain, however you want to say it, yeah. 38 million rose gold. And as you know, when you flip it around, that's where you're gonna get excited. Here we go. <laughs> This is it, this is it. I used to do this when I first met my missus. She, I used to all be in awe. Um, she don't watch this. I still love her dearly. Yeah, she watches it. She's oh, no. just over there. She can probably hear me. In fact, I think she's probably in on the mic. Um, but that is just absolutely... Do you know what's really strange when somebody says, you're just about to flip a watch over. We have customers come in the shop. We had a gentleman come down who was buying a modern Jaeger and all of his watches are vintage chronographs. So single pushes, double pushes. Um, so he has a, 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 a like, he has a, a thing that, he, that he's into. And he said, seen this watch, don't know what it is. I said, oh, a guilty pleasure. So he said, yeah, it was a Polaris, so a, a vintage rerun, retro, but with a blue face. So the blue is modern. It's something that smacks modern watch. And he just said, I love it. <laughs> just, he'd driven quite a long way, so I think his mind was made up. Course, yeah. But the whole thing about turning watches round. I've seen them in the, in the metal, that's what they had. FB Jean is one of those products. You can yeah. appreciate them from afar, but as soon as you do this, you pull them on wrists. It's another world. It's incredible. What, what you were telling me before about the price, how that went, you said that was 18,000, what, two years, 2019? Yeah. And now the prices are insane. Insane. Yeah. So incredible. we've got... Which is one thing, right? That's one aspect you know, of it. It's not the other. How many watches do FP Jean make? Oh, yeah. It can't be many. It's, it's in the hundreds, isn't it? I, I suspect maybe closing in on a thousand, if not over a thousand. But yeah, it's not many at all. It's not many at all. So I'm sure, sorry, sure but I'm right. still, yeah. still... Here we go. Let's make sure that's nice. There we go. Absolutely incredible. And the thing is, as you rightly said, the people know about this now, and that's what's fascinating. We had this for 15 minutes on Instagram, a story, how was it? So, you know, regular customer, so it's always the great part. There's someone else who appreciates this, and he has from Seiko to Tag Heuer to FB Jaw. And that's exactly what we do, because I think that's where the passion is. You're, you're the same. I started, I started collecting um, chronographs, yep. cheap chronographs. Um, you know, Swiss movements, but not branded. Right. Then I discovered Hoyer and just took a instant, and I've got a great collection of vintage Hoyers. Sold some, which I regret. I've sold some, which I've made good dough on. I mean, I've, I've got a customer of mine that's gone right the way through all of the brands. He's got Patek, he's got FP Jean, but he's, he's got a couple of Laurent Ferriers. Yeah, yeah. World. Out of this world, dial colours, dial looms, yeah. but I don't think there'll be a handful of people even in this room that know what we're talking about. Even though, so, and I'm going to pay a compliment here to young guys that appreciate vintage watches or, or quality watches. So thank you very much for letting no, me have a look you. at that. Um, we're going to do a little wonder. Um, I'm going to make a point of coming over and seeing you. I hope you have a, a successful and a pleasant weekend. Nice talking to you both. Okay, bye now. Great. Again, 
like-minded people, like-minded souls. Not everything has to be bought Rolex diamond encrusted, but I hope we sell a few of them this weekend. Hey, you all right? Hey, you look, you're looking very suave and sophisticated. Is this like a watch show look? I have an absolute shocker. I thought I was completely prepared this year. Yeah, I've yeah. I got to my hotel room and I, shit, I've got my fucking suits at home. So, so well, I've just done shirt and jeans. I've gone to a wedding recently and I've got the suit hanging up on the door and the shirt and everything. I'm getting to the wedding, which is three hours away. No shirt, no tie, no belt, no <laughs> shoes, just the suit. So I had to put it on with a t-shirt and trainers. And then snazz they out. So there you go. How's it been? Good start? Yeah, yeah. What I'm a bit concerned about is that last year, the Saturday morning, the doors opened and it was Bam! Yeah. It was instant. We had that hour of frenzy yeah. and like business. And we had people on the stand like saying, will you serve me next? Yeah. So I hope it's going to be the same tomorrow. I yeah. hope it hasn't yeah, diluted exactly. it, but have a good, have a good one. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. You all right? Hey, hey. You're doing good. Nice. Just sold a meat right dial one. And I'm regretting selling it already. Oh! There's the wily old fox! You're not gonna have me over again, mine, this weekend, are you? Say what you said a little bit earlier. Stu said I'd lost a little bit of weight. Am I all right bringing me film crew with us? Yeah, is that all right? Hi. Endo, pleased to meet you. I've just been told from a reliable source that you have some nice oyster quotes. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Where have you unearthed these from? I'll take you to the mother of all straight away, yeah? Wow. I'll let you tell me a little bit about it. It's a watch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what it is, right? That's a no, very... No, look, I'll tell you what it is. So, I mean, to find rainbow watches in general is quite rare on Rolexes. Yeah. Rolex made, they made some on uh, standard automatic day dates. Yeah. But to find them on quartz day dates is really, really hard to find. What we're going to, what, what the whole ethos is, I've just done a couple of features on a steel one and a gold one that I have. But what you've got to appreciate is everybody, when you say Rolex Rainbow, the thing 150, 200,000, because it's a modern thing, people don't realize that most things in the watch world have, have original and have been repeated. I mean, what's this, uh, early 80s? This, yeah, yeah. I mean, these, these you'll find in kind of 80s, 90s. What, what you will find, I wouldn't say common, what you will find on these that when sometimes people have used the word rainbow, it's got like two shades of color. This is actually a full complete rainbow. So very, very, very hard to find on quartz. Of course, you've got the matching dial. Um, it's something that we enjoy. I mean, you see, everything that you see in the trays is for sale. Yeah. Besides the, the ones that you see in boxes, all the oyster quartz and boxes yeah. are not for sale. You, the it's problem like, that I have is, I had a gentleman come in the shop yeah. and I'm selling him a vintage Rolex, yeah. um, a 1655, uh, unpolished, virtually sticker on the back. So, and I had the oyster quartz on and I'd said, it's not for sale. Yeah. Well, I want to buy it. It makes it more attractive, isn't it? Uh, it's not for sale. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to buy it. So, and at one point I thought, oh, he's not going to buy the 1655 if I don't sell him. And I just had to stick my guns and I said, it's not for sale, it's, it's my watch. Exactly. And I'd like to give her if I tried on. 20 quid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you what it is. Just a little bit tight. You know, if people, if people consider... I, it's a little bit tight, but I do have some spare links. <laughs> <laughs> Yours if you want it. <laughs> I don't know, people, if, if you want to price things by rarity, this should be quite a lot more than an automatic yep. rainbow thing. Yeah. So that's that's if you want to price things by rarity. And well, I am going to do that crude thing and ask how much you're asking for the watch. It's not for sale. Not for sale. Genuinely, the purpose of bringing... So you can take a look at this. Yeah. The ruby here, ruby there, sapphire here. You've got 
another sapphire bobby there. You got one of the octopus bracelets. Yeah. Quartz. Take a look at that. Wow. So the whole purpose of this was to show people what we like because I want to buy more. Right. I may have a couple of things for you. Sure. So. I can pull them out, but they're probably nice. No, no. Line. Just leave them where they are. So. I did want to have a look at this. That's fantastic. What's better than one of these? I wear a, I wear a, a, a champagne baton dial. Um, I wear it on a regular basis and people say to me, what's that? And I'll say, well, it, it is a Rolex, but it's not if you... Some people thought that it was a Vacheron. Yeah. But what's better than one of these? Fantastic. Two of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, octopus. Um, I've had standard 36 mil day dates, but nothing is wow as that. But again, this is probably, I mean, that's getting there, but I don't know whether I even I'll would. Show you something yep. on that one. I don't know whether I would even call vintage as bling, because bling is new, but it is just vintage bling. Let me show you something. Yeah. So you look at this, and it looks fairly special, right? Yeah. So this is, of course, all factory set, and I'll show you one thing. Quick glimpse. Oh, kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Omani? Omani Hanjar. Omari, yeah. The Hanjar. Yeah. So does that mean this was made for a specific person? Or was it just Commission. sold in a certain sold market? Of, yeah. Either the Sultan of Oman or... Commission, for, you know, gifted by the Sultan of, uh, of Oman, Sultan Qaboos. So these were commissioned for them. Um, I want to say, I saw when John Mayer did the episode talking with yeah. the Vinky, he, he had some watches that had that mark on them. And, there is two types of marks that you can see. Sometimes they're engraved, yes. and sometimes you can see that red kind of enamel yep. on it. These are like the original, the imported yep. ones. This. This is like, these things, we seek them, now they seek us. <laughs> Genuinely, some of this stuff, until until I until we bought one, I've never seen one before. That's it. That's what I was saying. Some of them I've seen like one picture of, but until we actually like the rainbow. Until we bought one, I've never had the one. And, and they're like crosses, right? You buy one and then another one comes along. Yeah, it's not small. <laughs> oh. That's it. So I really didn't expect to see what I've just seen. Blow me away. Really good to meet you. Thank really you. impressive. Thank I like you, your style. I like your style. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good, good to see you. I wanted to come to late. I didn't know like what to expect. I didn't know whether like weekend was going to be too busy and today we Sat better. Saturday's ram, Sunday was a bit quiet last time. Right. The Hong Kong's now, you can't do much with Hong Kong, so that's probably a bet with the market. But this is the boss. We buy and sell every day, it doesn't matter. We buy a Batman, we buy a Batman for 16 grand, we sell it for 17. If, we, if the market goes down, we buy them for 14, we sell them for 16. So, so it's just a continued turn. Yeah, yeah. So you, the trick's not to hold for too long? No, we don't hold nothing. Right. We've, never held a watch, we've never held a watch in our lives. So even like the fact that these are going up in value all the time? Is that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We don't, we've never held on to one one. One. Yeah, you can't. You hold on to one, you hold on to ten, you hold on to hundred, what do you here for? So you don't ever think I want to stick my nose away? Nah. You want to look at anything, pal? I'll sort of a uh, uh, back row. Uh, okay, brilliant. How much did you sell it for? 14, I think. Four. And, uh, yeah. But to be honest, I don't, not sell it anymore, so I got it. I got it. I got it. I got you made your money out of it and you moved out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, and I get the fact that you got to make money as well, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? But it's jumped a bit, hasn't it? 
If we, if we held on to things, uh, it would be great, but we, we don't hold on to anything, so. Yeah, really 20, good. Good. 20. 20 grand. Around 20 brand new now. Yeah. At the time that you sold it to us, we were probably selling there for 15, 16 grand. The other one is John Tuts. Yeah. 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 Blue Dice Guard Around like 30 to 32 grand, depending on the age. Oh. Now, now the black's crept up as well. I sold that to buy East Guard Yeah. yeah. So how much did you buy? Yeah, yeah. How much did you buy this Guard for? Retail. Retail? Oh, alright, okay. Oh. Well, you haven't done bad at all then, have you? Really? Did you get the Batgirl for retail as well? You got the Batgirl? You've done very well out of the two then. I do alright, I do alright. Some I keep, some I don't have Keep what you like and go. You guys give me a good price, that's fine. Whatever you want to sell, John will, John will give you a price on anything. And we can always sell or return it also. So APRO, we, we love to sell it within 30 days and we can return you sometimes 1 to 2k more, depending on the model. What's the deep sea James Cameron though? Oh yeah. Old reference. If it's old reference, around 10 to 11. New reference. Around 12 grand I'd want to give. Yeah. Is that because they're deeper? No, no, so they're the exact same, but the brace is wider, which is more comfortable, so it's not as top heavy. And then it's it's a new movement, basically, that's all. I did what I got, blue seat, play gun for it. New. Yeah, I give like 14 grand. Then like on something like that on consignment, I could probably give like 15 grand. So it's always worth, worth really doing consignment. If you're not in a hurry for the money, it's worth doing consignment. Perfect, nice to see you, man. Ladies, day date, Harry. 36 will factory bezel, factory dial. Sold 42, 500. Uh, 126, 500. Nice to meet you, Jack. See you around. It was a ladies protect rose gold diamond bezel. Nice watch. Try to buy it. Might come back, hopefully. Uh, it is 1965. I've got an archive paper with it. It's quite a quite a nice patina on the dial it's all original I'm just going to get you an archive up so there's an extract from the archives the extract from the archives says 1967 it's actually a 66 so it's got 66 in the case back it's very good it's untouched it's 10,000 pounds we have it we would be retailing that in the shop for 10,995 I don't have it yeah 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 that, that's that's from the uh, archive in Switzerland. So I don't have the document with me, it's in the safe. But obviously uh, we have a store in Newcastle. We have a partner down in Knightsbridge. So, you know, it could be collected from Knightsbridge or it could be collected in the store. It can be done uh, online. It's in a, it's in a, it's original box, a small red yeah. vintage yeah, box. Yeah. yeah, and the archives with it. 10,000. 10,000, yeah. Thank you so much. Let me see the, thank okay. you so much for your help. Okay. We're here all uh, weekend. Uh, yep. uh, I'm Hendo. Pleased to, pleased to meet you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Rolex too expensive today. Patek as well. The market is down. How much are you asking for the blue? 130. The market's always strong if, unless people panic sell. That's all it is. People get scared, that's all. How much are you asking for the VC? 51. Dual time, brand new. 2022. 2022? Full set? Can I have your card? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Josh. Yeah. So, Josh. Just give me a WhatsApp, anything you need. No, follow me on Instagram, please. Follow me. Because I've been following you guys on YouTube not yeah. so long time, but. When I get reception, I'll see the follow and I'll follow you back. This is my store. Okay. But we're official retailers. Okay. We can find a way to work yeah, yeah. together. Perfect. Give me a WhatsApp also. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so as you've seen, he was a, a official retailer, but not for the major brands like Rolex, AP, Vitek, Vacheron. Before anyone thinks that we do get the watches for retail, that's not true.
what's your things on YouTube? Nice to meet you. Really yeah. Hendel, yeah. and you are? Peter. Peter. I'm actually looking for a specific watch. You mentioned on one of your things that you've got a Comex. Mm. Comex is probably a bit too expensive. I mean, they're very don't they? But yep. The one that I'm actually looking for, I've only just come across it. I always wear a deep sea. Yeah. And um, there's a deep sea, apparently Navy divers. Uh, Edition. Yeah. About 10 years yeah. ago, they did it with a GMT. So they did a, a forces, so it was a helicopter pilots. So they did a black dial GMT, so yeah. it always had an engraving on the back. Yeah. So that deep sea is a, a limited edition yeah. that was done for the military. The military. Yeah, yeah. There's two schools of thumb that if something has been given to you, yeah, yeah. you should keep it, keep it yeah. or you should hand it down. Yeah. There's another school of thumb that, um, there's a guy just been here who rang me about five, six years ago. I've got a watch yeah. with something on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tried to act all coy as though I didn't know what he was talking yeah, yeah. about. By the time I'd get in there, he'd mentioned it to somebody else and they'd... Got it. Yeah. We'll use the term got very, very... They nicked it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, they bought a very, very cheap watch. Yeah. I believe that they'll probably have known that they bought a cheap watch. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of the guys that keep them and hand them down, yeah. but yeah. they do become available. Yeah. How much is it advertised for? It's, it's in dollars, 75. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, uh, a normal deep sea now would be, what, 15? Yeah. I would have thought between 50 and 60. Yeah, yeah. So 75 is the top end of the market. In in dollars. Dollars. Oh, dollars. so 75, yeah, so yeah. It's so it's bang on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's right in the money. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'd expect that's where it is. Yeah. And but when you compare that to Comex, which is starting at $100,000, I guess probably maybe a bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The difference yeah. is you, 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 you've got the beauty of a model Modern watch. Yeah. The deep sea is a modern yeah. watch. Yeah. But for me, there are pieces that you can buy yeah. for a lot less money in the vintage market. Yeah. You know, double red right in sea dweller, yeah. 1680 red, Explorer yeah. 2, which to me, the clearance, you know, you might not see another one advertised for a couple of years. Yeah. So I think it's reasonably, it's in the market, yeah. but lovely to meet okay. you. Yeah, Bye for now. That's a chocolate rose gold. Is this rose gold? Rose gold, yeah. This is yellow gold. It's so difficult to I know, I took the left. So I got the rose gold with the leather strap. Yeah. So they're like predecessor to this. That's the, that reminds the predecessor. Yeah, because it, they got rid of the leather on the Daytona and the Skydweller. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I've got the crocodile strap with the numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh, they will. I mean, I paid 18 for it. Is it rose gold? Chocolate? Yeah. Um, around like 30 grand, I think. 30 what to 40 color, grand. What colour is the face on this? Chocolate. Brown. I want the black face. Oh, you want the black face? You want rose black face? Slate. Rhodium. Yeah, rhodium slate. We, use, we had one last week. So, that's, that's, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, that's face. But, but in the Isoflex, yeah. A yellow rose. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. How much is that? This is 45,000. This is 55. Yeah, yeah, mine's really, really heavy. They are heavy watches. Honestly. But you feel like you're wearing something, do you know what I mean? What about that Daytona? Uh, the Daytona. Is that a white gold? Watch? White gold. How much is that? 55. That's, I like that. Too. This is one of my favourite, probably sports models. I know it's watches. really bleak, but I like this. Oh, I've always liked them in yellow gold. But it's just a classic watch. Can I have another one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. White gold. Yeah, that's beautiful. Next time we get to watch. Sell it to me. That's just a classic. I love that. Here's the volume to the two bar fridge. I really do like them. That's gorgeous. How much is that? Uh, 43 and a half. New hands. Oh, we have 2016 old hands for 36,000. 
So you basically what you're paying for is the hands you see there? Yeah. That's what you're paying for. Perfect, no problem. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. It already hit like you grew up in America. It was already big, and now I think it's coming over to the UK. It's it's big. The thing is, I made interest in one of those five months ago. Rose gold. Rose gold. Oh, rose gold is sexy. Is what it is. The blue dial. So, so sexy. Yeah, hundred percent. I think that's going to be the watch of the year. I think AP and uh, Bastron are the watch brands. I just see value, that's the trick for that. You're going to go up 50 rounds than that, you might have got 50 rounds than that. Of course. There's more in there. Something that you can actually wear every day as well, do you know what I mean? Of course. But I just feel like they're just leeching off the success. Yeah, because with the Vacheron, it's only going to follow on AP's footsteps, and AP's only going to follow on Batek. That's how it goes. How much? Uh, 185. Do you think that's better than the white gold version? Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's my favourite watch, that. That might be bad. Orange is my favourite colour, so. So you must have got easy jet there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I rocked that and went and got on the easy jet. Hey, you got my knee yourself? Can I try that? Nice protect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't be telling you that. You want to sell it? For sale, or not? Is it worth it? That's the truth, man. Yeah, where's the shoe? I'll get you. Hey, have a look. It's nice, isn't it? Can I show it to the camera? You won't see this here, you'll know about it. Yeah? Yellow ball, meet your right, Daytona. Can I take it out? This is the second one we've seen. Second one I've seen. Our ones were on the Isoflex. Yeah. It's true. True, for sale. How much? We are still yet to see a white gold meteorite Daytona in person. We've seen the yellow, the rose, the rose oyster flex, the white oyster flex. But if you're looking to sell a full white gold bracelet, uh, meteorite Daytona, we are looking to buy. So hit us up. Do you get it for this? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't buy it. Okay. But I've been buying watches for 14 years. Yeah. So I'm due. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say I'm the biggest spender, but Rolex are getting looked after. Yeah. Getting looked after. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I was asking about the white gold version. I've yeah. got the white gold version. I'm with an orange strap. Mm -hmm. But I like the ticker, I like how all the indices are in orange. Yeah, I love this. And on the black strap as well, it tones it down. But obviously you've got the orange accent, yeah, so it makes it... Yeah, exactly. Do you have any idea in mind? Or do you want to sell it, or are you keeping it? I think what I want... I don't think it's realistic. Mm -hmm. um, that's the truth now. Uh, How much? 185. Jack, how much would you get for a yellow meteorite, Daytona? Yeah, he's got it. No, no, full gold. I want to see one with white gold, though. Because I think it just, I, I just think it works well. Yeah, exactly. The only thing I say about white gold, it comes it's a bit drab. Yeah, yeah. So if you're having a white race, the dial just kind of like, it might have just been a bad dial or so, I don't know, but it just looked really drab. Yeah, that's the thing. Every dial's different as well. I've I seen an Oyster Flex in a trade group, and the meteorite was horrible. But then obviously I've seen yours, and I've seen others, and it's nice. Yeah, closer to 140, we were pay. But I'll give you my card if you have anything else. If you want to buy or sell, definitely. I'm Josh. These watches here, these and these, are my actual watch collection. But everything's for sale. So. You've been busy over the years. Yeah, I mean, I, there's things that are recent, and there's things that are... I the Graham in many years. There's Corona Friday. Yeah. Uh, two identical oh, yeah. of 50 swordfish. And then there's some good value for money yeah, pieces I, in here. I love the dial on this home, yeah, the numbers. Yeah, like fantastic. Breguet. This, it's styled from a Breguet. Breguet started that yeah. style, so it runs through their time pieces. Again, a 3,000, well, a 7,000 pound watch in Harrods, three grand. How much are these cards in Moscow? The red is 2,750. The blue is three grand and the green is 3250. 
they, they're officially sold out uh, completely, yeah. and they're going to launch three new ones next week. I know. We've had quite a few. We've had some used ones, which is nice because you get a chance to wear them. Uh, but all of those are, uh, are brand new. Be interesting to see what they do with the colours. Yeah, yeah. the three new ones are going to be interesting. Yeah. I hope they stay away from the Tiffany blue, but let's see. I think they'll more heritage. I'd like to think so. I had a day date 20 years ago with a Tiffany blue fish. Yeah. Couldn't uh, sell it. The Stella dial. Nobody, nobody wanted to buy it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody wanted it. Nobody liked it. Nobody. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, protect. And then the OP goes stratospheric. Everybody, I mean, I'm looking for a Gerard Perigot for a client. And I'm looking through and I see They've done a limited edition Tiffany Blue. Yeah, yeah. No, why? Why? But again, Which uh, Gerard the Loretto. Yeah. Great watch. We have a couple of Vacheron. For me, Vacheron is the sleeper piece at the moment, and it is going to go over the next 18 months. So, don't know whether it'll do Patek figures. The product is a quality, quality watch. That's the difference. If you go in at the right time, I mean, the rose gold one is, uh, the overseas is amazing. But the Gerard Perigold, the brand, the, the watch is just as good. So the steel version, which has got to be a little bit protect, notless, you know, you're talking 20 grand. So it, it's a price, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, so, it's enjoyable. And it's always been a watch that's been very, very difficult to sell. I mean, there's a there's a time only there, time only there, which if this oh, was... That's, that's the first watch I ever yeah. in a black dial. Yeah. yeah. 2002. Yeah, I had this in a black dial, luminous numbers. Yeah, what a great watch. Yeah. And that'll cost you today three and a half grand. I have a friend who has one of these, and he said, I'll never be able to afford a protect, but I've got something close. So, great, great piece. Orange protect, 185. 38 mil? Yeah. Uh, yes. It's the newer one, I yeah. think, yeah. Have a look at that. Yeah, yeah. They're doing it in rose gold, aren't they? Yeah, as well. And they're doing it in uh, rose gold with the, the jewel type as well. Yeah. Nice watch. How much is the ladies' aqua? That's 38 mil, isn't it? Yeah, right now. They've got a rose gold one. Uh, rose gold, um, depends if you get um, automatic or quartz. So automatic's around 75, quarter like 60 in rose gold. Yeah, it's nice. I didn't like the older one. The smaller so have you not like seen it. the rose gold Vacheron, ladies, Vacheron? Yeah, it's sick. The ladies Vacheron, it's, like, it's the only one in the country at the moment. Jack, how much is the ladies Vacheron? That can be cheap. That lists at 24 and a half grand. It can be 20 grand. Is that, uh, swimmer? Can you swim in it? Yeah, yeah, it's 2022, it's 2022 brand new, the 24 and a half grand. That's going to be the brand. That's going to be a very strong brand this year, Vacheron. Yeah. Well, it already has taken off in like Europe and America, but yeah, yeah, I think the UK market's going to be very strong as well. Vacheron's a top make, isn't it? Really? Yeah, so of course. Really gone, of course. I could have gotten in blues last year. Like, you go to Harris, they had them. Yeah. Now they got those. No, no, now they're like 40, 50 grand. Right? That's Vacheron, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, drill time. How big that one is? 50. But it's the drill time, it's the thicker one. I prefer the non drill time. I've got skinny wrists, so I can't even wear that. It's too thick. The blue dial on it, though, is absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Lovely blue, isn't it? The rose gold with the blue is lovely as well. Really, really nice. Yeah. Let us know on the Vacheron ladies as well. I'm going to come back to get that one tomorrow anyway. Yeah, yeah, Sam. What weekend then? Where's Wayne? 15, 20 minutes away from here. Jack booked it last minute. I don't know. Probably, yeah. It's either that or a hostel. One of the two. <laughs> Nothing special, that's for sure. All right, see you later, Have you been around the rest and come out of the best? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, a, I'm really a bit... I did actually think I was going to sell it. I actually had a friend that wanted it. Nice protect that we just bought there. Rose gold. The diamond bezel. Back and watch. Lovely ladies, watch out.
Not so expensive. Retail is over 30,000, 33, 34,000. We have it today for sale, 2021 for 32,000 to hit. You know, the ladies for tech there, as you can see, the gentleman went around everybody else. I offered him early on in the show. He tried to sell it to everybody else. I did have to give him a little bit more money, but he come back to the best and he sold it to us. I think for value for money, I don't think you can get a better Rose Ladies watch on the market. I mean, we sold the 36 mil ladies, uh, well, gents, ladies, 36 mil, day day at the show with the diamond bezel, with the diamond dial, uh, day day 36 for 42 and a half grand. This watch is say £10,000 cheaper than it's a Patek. I think it's a great value, great, great value Rose watch at Patek. Was it 57 12? Oh no, all them. Yeah. What do you think about the rose? I've never tried it. Yeah? It fits so. But I can see that the prices come off a little bit. Nah, I think people just panic, that's all. So it's talk. The market's still strong. The market's still strong. Like it was asking 300 at some point, now you can buy 220. Yeah, how much is that? So we have two. Is that which one are you wearing? That's the 2021 one, yeah? I think it's 2021. Uh, yeah. Two, three, five. Can I try the right ones? Yeah, yeah. Because these are stuff that I've never tried. So oh, we're kind of like. Uh, I've got a blue uh, aqua I've got the 5726 on a steel bracelet. Blue dial. No. Grey dial. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. I like the white. I prefer the white to the blue. Actually, I was thinking. This yeah. Thing. I think the white is just a lot cleaner because the blue dial is not really a blue dial, it's almost grey. Which year is this? Uh, 19. 19. This one is 145. As new, yeah. 21 is as new. I think that's very fair. 5712 steel. Love this watch with the moon face, sick. The 5712? No, 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 steel. Oh, 2021? Yeah. How much are you asking? 150. We asked 170 for 150. This is uh, 2009. Yeah. 2009. Yeah. Let me think about this. Yeah? I'll give you my phone. That's my WhatsApp on there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? You okay? Good, man. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. You're back in the same place. Back in the same you place. Well last year. Yeah. Why change it, right? Exactly. Stu, good to see you, man. Hi, mate. Okay. Bigger, bigger. Bigger for the better. We're more yeah. We'll we'll stop. Bigger yeah. and better. Bigger and better. Good stock last year, though. I think this year beats it, though. For sure. For sure. How's your business going? Good. Busy? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have someone filming tomorrow. Can I grab like some of you? Yeah, both. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. hopefully this music has turned down and we can actually yeah, yeah, yeah. hear each other talk. Have you got you got mics on? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got mics. We've got this area here. Yeah. We can do something here. We should do something yeah, here yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Even if it's the end, end of the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you here Saturday and Sunday? Sunday's probably going to be quieter, so it'll probably be a good idea. Yeah, For sure, yeah. yeah. Have you sold anything yet? Uh, yeah, a few yeah. bits. I'll, I'll, see you, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, 100%. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. See you later. See you later. Yeah. No, it's a little bit newer than a bubble bag. I'm trying to think from memory. I think it's sort of late 50s, early 60s. It's £6,000. So it's your equivalent to a modern day just. Could have either been supplied on a, a bracelet that's worn out, but I don't think because of the condition of the watch. So I think it's been supplied on leather. So for it to be all 18 carats, quite rare. Obviously, I've, I've got a bubble back in my bag, which belongs to somebody that I'm meeting this weekend. Big fan of them, big, super, super. That's how the watch came, that's the strap that it came on, I've never touched it, obviously prior to sale, if you wanted it serviced and refurbed, I'll do all of that, I leave all of my vintage pieces the way that they are. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, I'm not Jack, but if you call, I'm Hendo. 
Keith, pleased to meet you. Okay, now, a uh, gentleman there was just looking at a full 18 karat day just. I was explaining to him that I think the watch, because of the condition, was supplied on leather. They come on a, a leather and a bracelet. A, a really good condition vintage watch at £6,000. Very good. Get hold of you and it's like, it's just, I know what it's, it's like. It's not easy. Like, well, the thing is, I've dealt with a lot of people. As long as I've met them, it sparks that confidence. Yeah, yeah, of know, course. Of course. I've, I've lost one or two dudes, but I buy a lot of watches. Yeah. A lot. So, you know, I have to be careful because I've put, I've, I've put my weight. Security with me. Yeah. <laughs> Security. <laughs> you know, show me that TMT. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. See where we go. <laughs> yeah. So we still haven't took it out of the seal. Uh, so it's a, it's a double sealed. First double sealed Rolex you'll find. Of course. So as I said, the watch is totally perfect. That's been polished, right? Yeah, so it's, it's had one polish and that was from us. 90% of our stock we don't buy if it's already been polished because the jobs that other people do we don't trust. How much is that? Uh, 13,250 we agree. Josh, you said you had a bimetal one as well. The bimetal GMT, please. Oh, that's, so that's 2017 that's boxing papers. Yeah. It's, it's just that it's just that what happened is that I've got the whole people I started with. I've been a little bit over. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. As I said to you, I still think the stainless steel is a better buy than the two-top. How much is this? 14, 13, 250. This is raised in price a little bit due to the rupiah. So the rupiah is like 25 now. So this is crept up a little bit. What year? 2020. Oh, UK supply. New card or old? Old card. Old card 2020. 40 mil. Is the buy man? I get nine for it. Like. No, I get nine for it. Do you have a figure in mind for this? But if I wasn't going to trade it against it. I wasn't going to trade it. I was not planning to trade it against this. Mm -hmm. This was going to buy outright. But no, you tell me. We would pay around 9,000. About 9. Is your business just local to here? I'm just down the road. Where about? I'm a wealth manager. So okay. I'm a financial advisor, basically. But I was here last year. Oh, really? Why is it so different? Why is it 10 grand less than the road here? I just think because rose is hotter than yellow at the moment. So that was pretty much the end of Friday. So I was getting a little bit bored and started to get a little bit of funky. I think I might have had a one or two beers at that point. Everyone wants rose gold. That's really the only reason. Like these were floating around 11,000. Not long ago. When the rupiah was around 18,000, these were like 11. The rupiah is now 25, this is now 14. But I still think a steel GMT is a better buy than the bimetal. Why is that? I just think the market for a bimetal, if you want to see it, you want to get out of the watch, you'd be a lot safer with this. I would suggest the stainless steel over that, personally. So I call up my bank. We do have a fresh box. We do. Just for you. In case you wanted to make a few purchases today. We brought them all for Ash. <laughs> Vicky can do the invoice, the register, everything. No problem. No, sorry, you know the one, uh, that's the 43, see, the 43. Well, you want 1660? Yeah, you know that, uh, I that have funny. I only have one. Short it's like a 40 mil one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'll show you this one. So this is the older one. It can come before that. It can go uh, zero, zero. So we one, one. That's pretty strong. Fully sticker. <laughs> that's why I brought the extra boxes that time. Yeah. Oh, that's because you know I've got a Coots account. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so that you know I can buy every single watch in the show. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I was going to come up in the helicopter to see you. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh, is that a... Um, no, this is a... Uh, this is fully sticker 2010 V-Zero. Oh, it's just because I haven't met you. It's got the... Um, it's just because I haven't... It's 
still working on the Wow, that's so funny. It's just hard for me. Careful. Of course. In terms of investment, if you're looking for investment, you're never going to find another watch like this. So this is the V Serial 2010 with full stickers. Original box, tags, everything. Not something to wear, just something to put away. It's a V serial, so it's like a 9 slash 10. Um, I need to double check. I'm 90% sure that it actually has, it's one of the first which had a card. But, as a, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. But that's what you want though. You don't want something, you don't, you don't want to wear something that everyone knows about sometimes. It depends if you want to wear it. What do you want to do? Do you want to wear it or do you want to put it away? If it's a watch to put it, I don't know. The GMT is discontinued also, so I think. But I think long term, this has probably more room to grow because it's a second watch. But I would say the same if the GMT was stick it also. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that, but I mean, in terms of models, GMT and that, number of production numbers. The thing with the GMT, that. it's just discontinued two years ago. Yeah. Well, three years ago. Yeah. And it's gone up in price. So now it's sitting around 13 to slash 14,000. Yeah. Whereas there's something like this, this has been discontinued for five or so years. Yeah. And it hasn't climbed. Wasn't, climb, as well, wasn't very point. popular, but having this fully stickered, it's got yeah. a lot of room to grow. So it wasn't even popular at the time. Not really popular, so no. Not a lot of them. The bigger one. I know which one you mean. What, what, what years was that? Um, 15 to 18 slash 19. Oh, so this is the pre ceramic. Oh, that's the pre ceramic. Oh, okay. Which one those go With the ceramic. Oh. We haven't had one truthfully for about probably over a year. No, no, no problem. We're not going to take one of these because we want a free file. We're on the ceramic one. Because yeah. yeah. like it, it has the bezel protector. Yeah. I can, look, I can locate it within one to two days. God, I mean, these are still good. They're still going to be dark, but that's the one. Have a spin about, no problem. Yeah. The hedge is where the weight is. If you were to work out the difference between a steel bracelet. Oh, there's one you prepared earlier. How much is this one for? 3250. For 3250. Yeah, yeah. 3738. We have it advertised for 3450 on our website, but we're offering everybody a discount this evening. So 3250. Full box and papers, yeah. Yeah, nice, aren't they? That is. Yeah, I agree like that. 3 2. <laughs> I mean, we only just came down the stairs. So. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nice, isn't it? What I like about it is the red in the bezel, the red on the dial. Obviously, the picking up classic, classic red writing seeds, well, a red writing submariner. They're just they're, they're telling you there's a classic influence going on, but then we're doing something really modern in a black. No, that's very good. And from the perspective as well, that was the first time they were going to bring you movements. Yeah. You know, just copy with the niggers. Yeah. That's I just... Can I put um, the movement behind it? It's, sure. it's not skeleton, it's solid. Oh. Yeah. Can I have a look, sorry? Yeah. I thought it was open work on the ceramic. I thought it was going to open back on the ceramic model. Um, I don't know whether they've done a solid or an open. They do, do an, they, do, they do an open back, but I would have to do a little bit of research. There you go. Damien, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Please. Feel free to pop back, have a look through. Okay, nice to meet you all.
Luca. Yeah, I think I think I reckon. Yeah. We're talking years about yeah? Okay. Before good. you become a VIP star, me still the same. You pay most of me, not me. I don't need the pay. Are you still you trading watches? Buy and sell. Yeah, they have a couple, a couple things. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Have a 2021 platinum with baguette, two more. Green Daytona. Still the Daytona, white tires, that one. Nice. It's okay. I don't know what they're trading. 2017, box paper, everything. Complete. Yeah. I think ballpark is probably worth like 60k. Yeah. Probably I need the more, but this is uh, the realistic. Uh, yeah, I trade the wise. Uh, yes. So, what do you want for uh, that one? 140. 2017. Uh, 19. 19. Yeah. I think so. I have only one wrist. I'm not the fucking winner of the watch. This one, you know, you're wearing this one. <laughs> Do you have any blue sky to wear? Don't have. None. Don't have or don't have, no? Blue sky. Blue sky around like 32,000. It's a fucking ridiculous. The price of watches is stupid. That's what you get for looking like a film star from Carter, eh? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm looking like a... <laughs> Straight from Milan uh, fashion show. That's where you're from, eh? Six anymore. Yeah? <laughs> RM30. How much is that? Titanium. Two, two something. Low twos. What do you give me for the platinum? Oh, yeah. I will, uh, never award. 21. 21. How much do you want? How much do you give? 140. We can talk outside after the show. In the week or whatever. What do you have? Uh, I think maybe 140. I bought a brand new 2022 145. You sold? No, I, I, I haven't collected it yet. I haven't collected it yet. What are you asking for that? 150. Yeah, but I'll sell for less, you know. I'm asking 150. It's good, mate. You're doing very well. Yeah. Very, very good. How much do you want for it? 150. I, I, I don't try to be realistic. I don't have a rush. It's not like, oh, I need to fucking sell it. Yeah, yeah. I just say uh, it's just at the right price because maybe I can take some ready as well. No, I don't need all the money because I'm going to have some cash here. Okay. I'll buy for cash. You yeah, have my number. You know what? I think I maybe I even the same have one. the phone. Uh, are, you here, are, are you here for just today or? Yes. Yeah. I have a down with my. How account. do you say your platinum uh, 2021 baguette? I said 140, one's 150. I said 2022, one, 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 2022, I bought one, 145. I bought one, one, I bought one, 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 Have you? And the ones I think I upset him as well. Man! Do you remember there was a watch on the, I think on eBay, and I told the ceramic, black, I'm a looker from Gabby. You conducted me. Oh, yes, yes, I fucking yes. said to you. You fucked me about. No, no, no. I'm a man of God. Look, I said to you, I said to him, I said to him, transfer me even a hundred pounds to guarantee the watch is yours. I said the bank account. I sent the bank account. Yeah, you started. You first just started. Yeah. Yeah. You don't send me nothing. A guy on eBay conduct me say, I give you 13 and a half. Imagine for a yeah, ceramic. Yeah. Black, ceramic, ceramic, black ceramic, black ceramic. ceramic. <laughs> By the way, you work at a clothes shop then? Yeah, yes. You work at a clothes shop. That, that's good to be, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that. Okay, guys, that's part one of the London Watch Show finished. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. How your videographer puts a lot of time in this, into these videos. So please comment, like, and subscribe. London Watch Show part two coming out soon. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Come on! Come on! You're moving! I'm sorry, he was excited to get on, right?